Hey there, guys. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. We're shaking everybody. Welcome back. Hey, I've been under the weather the last couple of days, and I'm feeling a lot better now. I just got some well-needed rest, and I just caught up on all my readings for my clients. So thanks for being patient with me. I truly missed you guys. Welcome back. Thank you for all the love for subscribing, liking, sharing, booking, and purchasing. I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so very much. So um, welcome back. All right. So I got some general energy. Okay. My general energy is the divine masculine is in stalemate energy. This is stalemate energy. Okay. And they're in stalemate energy because you can see right through this person. They're very transparent to you. You see exactly what's going on with this person. And what you see is that this person is sneaky as hell. Seven of swords. This is someone that you cannot trust. Okay. This could be anybody, but it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. And maybe this masculine had to walk away from that energy. Okay. Somebody could have some type of videos on somebody. Somebody got proof of the masculine doing something and they have a video. Okay. And it's a feminine energy. This could be someone blackmailing the masculine. They have a video or some proof on this person. All right. This is the masculine who can't commit. They could be upset because this person won't commit to them. Okay. The next energy I got is somebody is a strict, um, a strictly attention seeker. Someone loves attention. Okay. And this is a, a people pleaser energy. And this could be why you blocked this person because they love attention from everyone else. And you could have blocked this person. You're tired of this energy here. All right. Cause all they do is entertain options. They entertain a lot of different options. Seven of Cups energy, okay? And the next energy I have is, Divine says, someone is worth waiting for. You could have someone new in your life, and it's worth waiting for. You don't have to choose this option if they return, because Divine has someone else that is worth waiting for, because this person might not be for you, okay? This person is not for you. And Divine said, they're just going to be hunted about how they treated you, their behavior, that they lost you. They're just going to be hunted, all right, because they would never change. They will not change their behaviors. They won't sacrifice anything for love, all right? So those are the energies I got. So let's get started. Let's see what's going on with this masculine energy, y'all, all right? And happy Friday, everybody. They're trying to go through an awakening, all right? Thanks for your patience. You guys know I was coming back to do this shit, all right? Holy Spirit, what's that energy? Yeah, they got a strong energy, a strong desire for their divine feminine. This is how they're feeling right now. They definitely want to bed you down, okay? And they see you as marriage material, okay? This is how they feel about you right now, divine fam. They see you as marriage material. They're doing a lot of soul searching, some of these masters could be married, okay? But they're definitely doing a lot of soul searching here, all right? They're going through hardships. Divine said this is all things that they brought on themselves by their own decisions, all right? They're going through these hardships here, all right? They're feeling lovable or they want to feel lovable, and this is how uh, you made them feel. All right. But right now they could just be with their damn dog. All right. A dog is a man's best friend. They're sending you telepathic messages to let you know how they feel. All right. It's a lot of telepathic communication going on with you and the masculine. And they're trying to let you know that they want to reconcile with you. This is what they're trying to let you know. Okay. They're stuck in solitude at this time. All right, spend a lot of quiet time alone. All right, they're definitely dealing with low self esteem They could be embarrassed about their own choices and decisions, about how secretive they are, about how they wore this mask. And they're seeking signs, synchronicities, all right? And the signs and synchronicities are right in their face. But right now, they have to face their karma. This card just jumped out of the deck and Divine said they have to face their karma for all the fuck shit that they've been doing in their life to you. Oh, they said, yes, to you, their twin flame. Thank you. But it's also towards other people as well. Okay. 
What you put out there is what you get back. And if you've been out there fucking over everybody else, the divine is definitely giving you your karma. All right. It's definitely karma season. All of the readings, most of them have been reflecting that this energy is getting karma for how they treated you like shit. Okay. So that's what's going on with this masculine. They realize this. They're hunted. All right. Because of their toxic addictions and how they led their toxic toxic addictions into your life and took you for granted and got you caught up in this fuck shit. All right. What they did to you, how they walked over your face, mistreated you. But now they really feel like the shoe is on the other foot. They feel like you complete them. But a lot of you guys could have already walked away from this situation. All right. So overindulgence came out in the reverse. So they're trying to work with their addictions. They're trying to cover their addictions, learn about addictions, getting help for their addictions. All right. But they feel so vulnerable right now. And they're crying. They're depressed. They feel weak, burnt out energy. All right. They could be embarrassed about something too as well. All right. Yes. Because they was busy stuck in their pride and their ego. They couldn't see how um, fruitful you was for them at this time. So they stayed stuck in their comfort zone and continued to ghost you and stay in the karmic position, the karmic behavior. Okay. Into a comfort zone. Thank you, spirit. Okay. They stayed there. Any more messages, Holy Spirit? Yes. All right. And now they're trying to walk away from this situation because they're unhappy. They're trying to walk away from their comfort zone. They're trying to gain their willpower to do this, but they're very weak. All right. It's definitely low self-esteem. All right. Yes. They're trying to gain the win willpower to surrender. And this is what divine is saying. As you see, these cards are hopping out. They're trying to gain that willpower to surrender Woo! from the karmic partner. All right. They're trying to do it slowly, but surely from this karmic family. They got all these ties with this person now that they got caught up with. Okay. And their life is in nothing but chaos at this time. Nothing but chaos. They all in their head and they want to communicate with you, but you could have blocked this person. Okay. They're trying to escape from all of this drama that they created in their life because they're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities. They could be seeing 444. It's definitely divine intervention going on in this situation here. Okay. Definitely divine intervention. Trying to teach this person to be a warrior. Trying to teach this person to be strong and have confidence in what they need to do to get out of toxic situations. All right. But they stay stuck in lack mentality. They're afraid of their finances, that they can't take care of themselves. And they also have some codependent behavior here. All right. But they're having this wake up call. They're having this revelation. The light bulb done came on here, okay, that they can be abundant with you, that they can be happy with you, that you are their happiness, but they have to gain their confidence, okay? So that's how they're feeling right now at this time, all right? How the masculine is feeling for you, all right, Holy Spirit? Tell us what else we need to know because they're coming up with some can't commit energy, all right? What do we need to know, Holy Spirit? What is the energies? What is the energies that we need to know for this reading? Yeah, somebody's definitely nosy. Somebody all up in the mix. Everybody peeping. It's a lot of nosiness going on here. Spying. Gossip. Holy Spirit, what is the energies with this masculine? All right, so I'm going to take this card and put the rest back. And it's you might need to tell a little white lie. So somebody's going to tell a lie. All right, you might need to to this masculine. Or somebody's lying to something about something here. All right. And this is still got photos. Yeah, somebody got photos. Somebody is definitely blackmailing somebody. So somebody might need to tell a lie about some photos that they got caught up in. Somebody got photos or a video that somebody has got caught up in. They could be holding this over the masculine's head. Hmm about some shit they've been doing, all right? And it could be about multiple lovers, multiple people here. As you see, it's three different women in here. So somebody could have a video of your masculine sleeping with up to three different people, three different women, have a, have a video of him in a threesome, okay? So just be careful about that energy. Yeah, this person, um, you know, it's 
it's like somebody feel trapped, like they can't get away from this person. All right, it's a trapped energy here. Like it's hard to get away from this person. Somebody chained to this person. Definitely codependent energy. And here's that video again. So somebody is staying in a situation or keeping somebody trapped because they definitely have video footage or photos about something, about other people sleeping together, threesomes or something like that. Someone have photos of that and they're keeping this person chained to them and blackmailing them because of this. Okay, so that's what's happening here. What's the next energy's Holy Spirit? It could be a cancer that's doing this. Okay, the next energy's Holy Spirit. All right, and this is somebody think they're in love with this person or they trying to keep this person trapped to them because they're in love and maybe the other person don't feel the same way. All right, yeah, because they still hanging around this person. You know, she's still hanging around here because she's in love with this person. Okay, it could be a cancer. All right, and it started off as hot and heavy. It started off great. A lot of sexual energy here, a lot of sex. All right, but then they have different beliefs. One day, once they got to know each other, they realized that they have different beliefs. All right, and this person realized she was wrong. She was wrong about this person, about beliefs. Something ain't right about this person. They finally realized that now. All right, Holy Spirit, what are the other messages? And this is somebody finally realized that they deserve better. This person could treat them like shit. It was great in the beginning, but now it all died down as quickly as it got started. This could have been somebody new that this person met, a Virgo, okay? Mm. Everything they had, it was fun in the beginning, but then it died down. And now somebody know they deserve better. All right. This is creative pain. All right. So somebody could be threatening to harm themselves or even harm a child. Okay. So be careful. Something is going to be revealed about a child in divine timing. All right. It's just a lot of toxic energy here. Somebody could have hurt a child. All right. It's definitely something happened to a child and this will be revealed in divine timing. It's some type of pain that somebody brought to a child. All right. All these cards came out here. It's a lot of chit chats going on. All right. This could be some feminine energy, having secret conversations. All right. Yeah. Somebody's checking that person out. Somebody's new on the scene, trying to check somebody out. All right. And their whole family is in on something. Their family is in on this. It's a family situation that the, the, um, the divine masculine, their family is in on something against this divine masculine. Okay. It could be any divine masculine. Only take what resonates with you. Yeah. Because somebody's holding on tightly to this person. It could be a feminine energy that refused to let this masculine go. And they're holding on tightly to this person. Okay. And this is moving forward now. Now somebody's moving forward on their own. Somebody finally see the light. So it's definitely multiple lovers here. And some of them are staying and having a hard time letting go. And some of them are just moving on and dropping this whole situation together. All right. It could be a cancer that's playing a major role. Okay. And it could be a Virgo that's playing a major role here in this masculine's life. All right. These are energies that's just trying to hold on here. Okay. But they're realizing that they deserve more. Somebody's definitely getting abused in secret. All right. It's a lot of domestic violence going on here. It could be some fighting, just domestic abuse. And somebody's keeping this a secret. They don't want to tell people that they're getting abused in this situation. All right. The next energies, it could be an Aquarius that's going through a domestic violence situation. All right. That's keeping it a secret. All right. The next energy I got, they don't care no more. They act like they don't care no more. They just going to stay in this situation, but they act like they don't care about this relationship anymore. All right. Somebody feel like whoever they would just don't give a fuck about them. And that's why they abuse each other. All right. And this is, it's just a fantasy. Somebody is just in a relationship because of fantasy. It could be sex, fantasy, sex. Maybe this um, person has multiple lovers in this 
And that's why this relationship is just a fantasy. Somebody is here for the fantasy sex. They don't really give a fuck. They just here for the sex, the threesomes, or whatever you offering, okay? It's time for you to outgrow this shit, all right? So you already outgrew this person in this situation, Divine Fem. You found your self-love, and you move it in another direction, all right? Because you don't play fantasy land with motherfuckers, all right? And you no longer let people play fantasy with your heart, okay? Yeah, somebody's definitely doing spell work, all right? Because guess what? You outgrew their ass. You don't give a fuck anymore. You don't want this person in your life anymore. So they're trying to do spell work, manifestation spells, trying to draw you back into their fuck shit because you outgrew them and you moved in another direction, all right? And you will be moving in another direction, all right? The next energy I got is that it's a karmic energy that could be doing spell work as well. All right, it could be an Aquarius that's doing spell work here. All right, trying to keep you in a fantasy with this person. All right, just trying to keep you just as fucked up as they are with this person. But you are rude this whole shit and you don't give a fuck about this person no more. All right, the next energy is <clears throat> because they're stuck in a relationship. All right, and also you're moving into a real relationship. With a real adult, okay? With a king of pentacles. You met somebody who's on your level. A lot of you have. If you haven't, you will be, okay? This is you meeting someone who's real. And you don't have to deal with someone who's already in a relationship, okay? Mm. Yeah, this is in reverse because this came out in reverse. Somebody is still waiting, all right? Some of you guys are still waiting for this person. It's in reverse, all right, or this could be a karmic energy still waiting for this masculine, hoping that they change. And nothing's changing here, okay? So they just hoping that something to change here, all right? And this is energy that you could just take care of yourself. You could take care of yourself. You're tired of this energy, okay? And this is like you feel protected by divine as well as you're protecting yourself. You could have bought you a gun recently. You feel insecure that you got to protect yourself. All right. You just stay a loner type of chick, smoke your weed and you feel protected. OK, so you you're over this, you know, outgrew this situation. You're not going to be challenged by this energy anymore. OK, and this is tired of your shit because you are tired of this person's shit. OK, you know that they just up to fuck shit and you kind of tired of this person's shit. This is some back and forth energy that somebody keep trying to put you in the same situations. OK. And you fed up with that shit and you tired of it and you choosing to move on here because they stay stuck in karmic land because you also know that you are wifey material. All right. And that's what divine is saying right here that, you know, somebody else is worth waiting for. All right. Because you know that you are wifey material and somebody else is coming in your life that is worth waiting for instead of just toxic energy that has been in your life. Okay. So you moving on here because you're tired of somebody who just wants sex all the time. That's all they about is just sex, threesomes, orgies, strippers, hoes, their addictions, just sex. All right. This is all they want is sex. OK, so this energy is definitely coming out about just sex all the time. They're still stuck in that energy. That's why divine is calling them sneaky because they still stuck in fuck shit. All right. Divine said this person ain't changing. So let's clarify unchanged, okay? Because divine said they will never change. So let's clarify unchanged. Holy Spirit, give me the energies. So they're trying to connect with you definitely through telepathic communication. Because you're not fucking with this person. So they're trying to get with you through the best through the um best way they can. All right? Yeah. They're on the verge of connecting with you, appearing, calling you, trying to get a breakthrough. They could even try to call you from another number, okay? This person is worried that you have actually moved on with your life. This is the energy that they always felt like you was going to be there. They always came back and forth and manipulated you. But now you took yourself out the game. And now they see that you're no longer, you know, here for their fuck shit. And they worried about that now because they actually lost you. Okay? They actually lost you. Holy Spirit. Yup. And they feel like they're too late to make things right. But yet they was walking around like they didn't give a fuck, like they was unfazed. But now a reality check has happened here. The light bulb came on and divine shut this door and blocked this person out of your life. And they're telling you that you deserve better. 
All right. They're telling you to have patience because somebody else is better. It's coming into your life. Okay. Holy Spirit, what is these energies? Yes. They said, trust your intuition about this person because you know you can't trust them. Okay. The next energy is don't force it and don't let this person force you into any type of commitment or anything that you don't want to do with this person. All right. They were always out talking to their friends, getting their friends support, their friends advice. All right. That was bullshit. They relied on their friends instead of their own self, their own mind of not knowing what they truly wanted. They let their friends make decisions for them. Okay. Holy Spirit. Yeah. They want to call you. They want to talk to you really bad. Okay. Because they having a problem moving on for you, but you already moved on. You moved on with your life. That's their fucking problem now. Okay. You're no longer going to wait for this person because you made the fucking decision. They couldn't make the decision about their heart, who they love. They put you in a third party situation that you didn't even know you was in. And then they chose that third party over you on a continuous basis. So it's time for you to move on with your life. All right. You made the decision that was best for you instead of letting this person make a decision for you. Okay. And now they stuck and they can't move on, but you have. Okay. What goes around comes around. All right. And divine said, trust the plan. This the way it has to be because this person no longer gets to fuck you over. All right. They got to suffer the consequences. The shoe on the other foot. How they played you is not how they feel. And divine said, make them prove it. If you just want this person back. All right. Because they definitely want to reconcile with you. All right. They definitely want to reconcile. But divine said, make them prove it. Okay. That's if you want this person back. If you're still on this journey with the same person, only take what resonates with you, please. Okay. And this is, you know, they hard as fuck to read. You know, you cannot conversate with this person. You don't get any answers from this person. All right. This person is just hard to read. You don't never know what's up with this person. All you do know is that they full of shit. Okay. What else we need to know? Holy spirit. Yep, and they fighting it. They're stuck in their ego. They rather be stuck in their ego than deal with you and be honest with you. So that's why they suffering here and they hunt it. You know, and they act like it's they unfazed, but really they're definitely phased. All right, they choose you, but you ain't choosing this motherfucker because you know he fear, he's full of lust. All right, you know they're just all about lust. All right, a masculine can be a male or female. Please take what resonates with you. It's a gentleman that say I only do readings for women. I do readings for everybody. The general energy. You have to take what resonates with you. Don't try to make shit fit where it don't. Okay? A lot of you guys do that shit. All right? Now, see that in the comments section. When y'all be asking questions, if it don't resonate with you, don't try to make it fit. Don't do that. If you feel so insecure, you need to get your own personal reading. Okay? All right. So the next energy is apology. They want to come and apologize to you, but it could be too late because some of y'all don't even give a fuck about the apology because divine taught you guys to fuck closure. If you can't get the truth, this person is not going to give you the truth. You're going to be waiting for closure forever. This person don't even have enough respect and balls to apologize to you and be honest to you. All right. You know, just they don't. They just going to keep you hanging on the string with they fuck shit. All right, just keep moving forward here because this person thought the grass was greener on the other side and it might not be working out like that. So now they want to come to you after they chose someone over you. All right, you were not their first option. All right, you were, uh, um, you were an option, but you was not the first one because they went to the greener grass that turned out to be artificial. Okay, it didn't work out. But they abandoned you for that option, okay? They eliminated you out of their life. They tried to tear up everything that reminded you of them, okay? I mean, reminded them of you, all right? Even pictures, you know, anything, conversations, messages in their phone, anything. They just really want to get over you so they can go to this greener grass, all right? But they couldn't. They just couldn't. And now they're stressed and upset about that. They almost got like a resent um, type of feeling towards you because they can't get over you. When they went to all these other options, they were not over you. 
And this is what happens when you continue to start new relationships when you haven't closed out other relationships, okay? And they really know and feel guilty that you really did nothing wrong. They just don't want to admit that they chose somebody else who catered to their addictions instead of you, okay? And now they can't sleep at night. They're definitely being hunted. You know, they just have thoughts about you. They walk all hours of the night, strolling through the internet, strolling through porn sites, just wondering and thinking about what they lost, okay? And they also could be mourning their marriage, their wife, if you guys was married. This shit is over. They could have just went through a divorce because of their addictions and their fuck shit. All right. And they're continuous cheating. So you guys have to think about what you went through with this person. And you need to think about is this something that you want again, because they want one last chance with you. They want to see what you guys have, what you guys can work out here. Okay. They want to see. All right. Because you guys are definitely different. It's a lot of differences between you two, all right? You guys not on the same page. You want different things, okay? The next energy is, yeah, they secretly still love you, and they try to keep you as a secret love. Why they go out here and do other shit? This person is definitely non-committal. I feel like if you go back to this person, it's going to be a repetitive cycle of the same fuck shit, okay? Repetitive cycle. Look at that, of keeping you a secret love. Mm. Still trying to keep you a secret. All right, y'all been through that shit a long enough, okay? So we finna find out what is the fuck shit, all right? What is the fuck shit? The fuck shit is all you want to do is Netflix and chill. That's what somebody could be doing, all right, while they entertain other options. So they could be Netflix and chilling with somebody else that they entertain. All right, Holy Spirit, give us the energies that we need to know for this reading. Give us the energies, Holy Spirit. Yeah, outside. What is this? Outsiders. Yeah, outsiders is exposing their secrets. Other people that they've been fucking around with is exposing how they are, who they are, and what they've been up to. Okay? People talking about this. It's a lot of gossip going around. They keep falling into traps, sleeping with everybody, getting people pregnant, catching diseases. So it's definitely a lot of gossip going around. that somebody trying to trap them too. This person is not wearing condoms and shit. All right. You know, it's been a lot of STD shit going around. All right. The next one is, yes, they're stuck in their sexual addictions. They're definitely catering to their addictions here. This is heavy energy. Okay. And they feel like they in high demand. Everybody want them. But y'all be careful if y'all come across this energy because they're not using condoms here. And they're sleeping with all these different people. Okay, it's definitely one night stand energy here. Okay, and this is rent. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. My confirmation random one night stands. Okay, divine just confirmed that. The next card random one night stands. That's what they're doing here. This person is definitely stuck in dark night of soul energy. Stuck here. Okay, and this is it's a lot of fights and arguments going on here because of this energy that this person is in. It's like they can't stop cheating now, right now. They just can't stop. And so you pull back from this person. You pull back from this person because you know they is out here doing all this fuck shit. You know they out here fucking everybody. And they just lying to you right in your damn face when you ask them about it. Okay? And this says gossip. Everybody know what this person is doing. Everybody know who this person is. They talking about this person. How he go around and fuck everybody and have one night stands. So this is very to toxic energy here that this person is in. Yeah. And then they go out and watch movies and chill with everybody. Everybody like know this person's game plan. They know what they up to, you know? And this is, yep, third party fuck shit. That's what this person is up to. They always into third parties and everybody know it. This, this person has developed a bad reputation. Ugh. It's like a whore, a man or a female whore that just go around and sleep with everybody and everybody talking about this person behind their back. They kind of embarrassed. They feel like you know this stuff about them. You mirroring each other and this triggers them that you know how whorish they been, how they having all these one night stands and sleeping around and shit. They embarrassed about that. 
Uh huh. Why they tried to make you a side piece? This is what they did. Been out here horn around, uncommittal. All right. Won't commit to anybody really, and just about one night stands. So everybody know what this person is about. Just a bad reputation, and they trying to keep you as a side piece as well. All right. And this is this person is arrogant as fuck. They very fucking arrogant. Okay. The next energy is. A people pleaser. A clown ass. People pleaser. This person care about what everybody else think. This person don't even love themselves. They so weak. And that's why divine say this person ain't shit but a clown ass motherfucker. All right? A clown ass motherfucker that's arrogant as fuck. All right? Holy Spirit. What are the other energies? So y'all got to think about if that's somebody y'all want to deal with. All right? This person don't even take care of their kids. They could be denying paternity of children, trying to get some blood tests done and stuff, DNA tests done. Yeah, because they hooked up with a third party because they got this person pregnant. This person is now a fatal attraction because they could be denying a pregnancy with this person. All right. And this is child support. This person is going to take them to court and make them pay child support. All right. And this is. Yeah, spell work to win you. Somebody is doing spell work to keep you. This is a karmic energy trying to keep this person. It's definitely a lot of legal stuff going on behind the scenes here. Yeah, and they definitely going on romantic getaways with the third party. All right. So just stay away from this person. And this is why Divine said they have not changed. They got all this shit going on. They fooling everybody. And a lot of letting people be aware of they fuck shit that they've been getting into. All right, this is a real fake motherfucker, y'all. All right, this fake. So don't let this person come back around, okay? And this is a scorned lover also that keep holding on to this person. This is somebody who could be stalking them. So it's like they got all kind of, um, you know, all kind of multiple people in their life that they sleeping with here. You know, somebody doing spell work, somebody they're going on trips with, somebody that's still mad because they got left behind. Here's another fatal attraction, okay? It's just a lot of fucking people here, and then they still trying to make you a side piece here, all right? Here's another third party. It's like the whole neighborhood know about this person. They gossip about this person, all right? It's a lot of fights and arguments going on if they're in some type of relationship because all they do is have one-night stands, random one-night stands, okay? And then they sexually addicted really heavily, okay? Really heavily into sex here. And they just try to trap people. And people try to trap them with babies. This person don't wear a condom. All right? So that's why a lot of other people is exposing this person. Even the karmics is kind of fed up with this person. They realize that this person does nothing but fuck around with everybody. It's a lot of it's a lot of bad energy with this person. They so fucking toxic. All right. So I have some like sexual addiction cards over here. And I'm gonna pull them out and see, you know, since this is a lot of sex going on here with this energy. All right. Holy Spirit, please give me the messages that we for this sexual addiction that we're dealing with. Please give me the messages. All right. All right. Here's the messages that's falling out in regards to a sexual addiction. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In regards to a sexual addiction, please let me know what's going on with this. This person could have fetishes, all right? It's really toxic. They sleep around with everybody, all right? I'm going to stop right there, all right? This is some of the sexual addictions. I love when you give me head. This person like a lot of oral sex from you, okay? And this is, I've cheated on you more than 10 times. Hmm. So just be aware of that because of their sexual addiction. And this is, I have a sexual addiction. So they're admitting that they actually have a sexual addiction. They know they do. And it's out of control at this point. I love sex multiple times a day. Okay. And let's make a baby. They definitely want to make babies and stuff. Okay. And your sex bores me. So they could be sleeping with someone who's boring sexually. All right. And I love to taste your whatever they love to taste on you. Okay. 
it's oral sex as well. And I only cheat for sex. So that's the only reason they cheat is for sex. And I don't use condoms, as we know. Okay? And the next one is, I will fuck anyone I meet. Okay? So they saying they will fuck anyone that they meet. Any more energies here, Holy Spirit, that you want us to know? All right. One more. And I want some nude pictures of you. So they want you to send them some nudes. I advised against that. Okay? Because this person is toxic as fuck. Next thing you know, your nudes will be posted someplace else. All right? So let's clarify why divine saying this person is sneaky. Seven of Swords. What's this energy, Holy Spirit? Seven of Swords. What's this energy for this video? What is this energy for this video? Seven of Swords. Tell us why Seven of Swords is here, Holy Spirit. Yep. Because somebody want to put the work in with you. They want to try to balance out something, but they more so eyeballing your money. Okay? They more so wanting what you got. All right? They see you putting a lot of pinnacles in. All right? Page of Swords. Somebody definitely stalking you, watching you. All right? Nasty mouth, nasty attitude. Yep. They're watching your happiness, the sun. So somebody is being sneaky. They're kind of jealous here, envious of your happiness. Somebody's envious that you moved on and could have met someone else new. And now you're about to see the sun. And this person is about to make you happy. Okay? So this is what I have for you guys in this reading. I'll be back in a minute with Wish Shaking for the Weekend. Have a good night. Bye-bye.